Yeah, what's good? Uh, so we're going to go over one of the three final presentation uh, options for this class. So um, first of all, you can just go to um, assignments um, and you can scroll down. So you'd want to go under upcoming and you have three final options, which one is a critical arm uh, art critical remix artist presentation, excuse me, a critical remix project and a final synthesis paper. And right now we'll go over the uh, final critical artist, a uh, remix artist presentation. Jeez, I'm struggling um, today. But you do have three um, options for your final project. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up is because in a couple weeks here, um, we have a proposal due for that. Um, and so you need to be thinking about that right now. So if we click on the final critical uh, remix artist presentation, it brings you to the full description um, where it'll show you the due date um, uh, for this. Uh, we will have, um, you know, uh, a proposal, a short proposal, which is also worth 10% of your grade on this project, which is um, going to be due, uh, I believe, at the end of week five. Um, that you'll submit here on Canvas. And after that, um, you know, for all options, you're going to be broken into uh, small groups to workshop your ideas and build your final projects over the next five weeks of the class before they are due. So basically, for the critical remix artist presentation, you're going to do pretty much a, an academic, you know, formal sort of presentation on um, an artist who does critical remix art. Um, it could be street art, it could be billboard art, it could be art online, it could be, you know, um, you know, guerrilla marketing type stuff. It really could be a whole, the whole, um, gamut of, of things. The, um, you know, uh, the one thing about this is I don't want any Banksy presentations. I don't allow Banksy presentations, but Banksy is like a great, type of artist that does that work. Now the reason I don't allow Banksy presentations because it's an easy place for everybody to go and do a presentation on Banksy or one of Banksy's pieces. So for this presentation, you know, you basically want to pick an artist or a piece of of critical remix art or a project by an artist and present it um pr present it to us in a sort of typical um you know, fat, you know, fashion. So I mean, it could really be anything um, by this art, by a specific artist. So um, basically this work that you do choose, it should exemplify it to some extent fair use. So it should be critical commentary, uh, parodic, um, you know, critical consumer culture. And we've seen a bunch of examples and we'll see more examples as we go through um, this class. It also needs to borrow in some way, shape or form from a pre-existing work and it should have some form of you know, political, cultural, educational type of statement to it and not merely be um, just, uh, you know, a uh, piece of entertainment, more, more or less. Um, uh, so you'll present the work of art and you also give us some, you know, some interesting information on the artist. Talk a little bit about what they've done, their, their ideology, um, you know, and, and some of the you know, if this work is part of larger works or whatever, talk talk about that. But um, you also have to do within this, you know, this is not just a show and tell. You need to do a Panam analysis. So a fair use of analysis of why their work is fair. And, it, and you may find that it's actually not not fair. Okay. Um, but you should know what fair use is by it by now. So as I said, no Banksy. Um, <laughs> I just don't want it. Um, but there, I give you links at the bottom of the assignment description to a, a ton of other artists. So, um, so you'll need to prepare like a PowerPoint or Keynote or Google Slides or, or Prezi, and then you'll need to use Panopto um, or some way to record the video like I'm using now where we can see you talking and we can see your, present, your presentation. Um, uh, the presentations need to be at least five minutes, but they cannot go over seven minutes. Like not one second over seven minutes, not one second under five minutes. You between five and seven minutes. Most y'all will probably have a, the the issue is you'll make thirty friggin' slides, um, and then you'll practice your presentation, and it will take you forty minutes to do. So just think um, about that when you're putting this together. 
Okay. Um, uh, I give you some, you know, uh, links here to s how to submit a, a Panopto video assignment in Canvas. Here's a link from the uh, College of Ed, and there's plenty of stuff on YouTube. It's very easy to use, um, you know, um, etc. And it can be a standalone app, or you can use it within Canvas. Um, but if you record it outside of Panopto um, and some other, you know, space, I've had students have issues before. Um, you can just upload that video as an assignment, okay? Um, but, yeah, what I'm saying, like, you know, um, if you choose something that's like a sound collage or a piece of video art, you know, you don't want to show that in its entirety. So if it's a four- to five-minute video, you know, show us the highlights. If it's a, you know, four-minute song, play 30 seconds of it or whatever the most important part is, okay? Um... So yeah, uh, there is a one page, you know, up to one page, so one paragraph to one page proposal um, that will be due at the end of week five um, that will be submitted as a PDF. Again, you're not bound to this idea. It's just a proposal, but I want you thinking about who or what you're going to do now. Um, when it comes time to handing in the final project, um, you need to hand in your video presentation. A bibliography as a PDF, there is a place to upload that. Um, you obviously have to do the, your proposal. And then I'm going to put you, uh, once we get, get proposals, theoretically get proposals, I'm going to put you into groups on Canvas, um, sort of randomly. And then within that group, you are going to have to figure out how you want to meet, whether it's, you know, Microsoft Teams or Zoom or you want to make a Google Doc that everybody has access to or something, you have to part participate in group workshops um, where you sort of pitch your ideas and work through your ideas um, together. So you're going to work with your peers um, to build your, your final um, presentation or your final paper or your final piece of art. So you can see how you'll be graded here based upon like, you know, what you choose, your actual analysis, um, do you reference course materials, lectures, you know, readings, things that we watched, um, your overall presentation, how seamless is it, um, are you on time, are you fluid, are you professional, uh, you know, this should be somewhat formal, um, you know, uh, did you write a decent proposal or did you just hand in a sentence? And then your participation in the group workshops. Um, I will create a, a discrete way for you to evaluate your um, and grade your group members in their participation um, in the last five weeks. So you'll be able to grade, you know, Susie Q's um, work. Maybe she did great and Jumpin' Jimmy didn't do anything, never showed up, you know. Um, so you, you can do that. So I can understand kind of what's going on. I'll give you a timeline here for success um, on this project and group workshops. So, um, you know, the first time y'all meet, you want to have your proposal, you know, do, um, you know, um, or an outline. You could even really get it to the outline. But I would say, like, once you've proposed your idea and thought about it, you want to start working on an outline. Um, when y'all meet in groups, you know, you want to, um, which is the week after the proposals do, you know, get the new year group, introduce your idea, talk a little bit. Um, you know, the second time you meet with your group, which I believe will be week seven, you want to present an outline. Um, by week eight, you want to show a shell or, you know, some sort of draft, um, of your slides, like put, start putting things together. Um, the week, uh, after that. Uh, week nine, you want to have, you know, you want to go through and practice and present like the first couple minutes of your presentation. And your presentation should have an intro and a conclusion and the meat and potatoes in, in the beginning, you know. Um, and then uh, the last week of the term in your groups, you'll do a full run through of your presentation uh, for, for the group so they can, you know, give you some feedback. Um, and it's good to practice in front of an artist. Um, I give you a bunch of links to some other types of artists like Recycled Propaganda, Hagra, Hal Hefner, Ron English, Negative Land, Shep Fairy, Girl Talk, Poster Boy, 
um, Barbie Liberation Organization. I mean, these are just a, a bunch of examples um, that you can go from. And there's, I mean, you can see this type of art all over graffiti art, street, you know, street art. You can find this stuff on online. You could look at, you know, projects like the the Consumer Horror by Chiron Dyer, Dwyer, or you know, even like the Menthol Tens by Ari. Um, you know, those all fit within the parameters of this uh, assignment. So you, again, you want to make sure that it's like a critical form of, of, of art. But you could look at so many things um, like Let's Play videos or Sweeted videos or fan art or, you know, 8-bit art. Um, you know, as long as there's an element of, you know, critique there, um, which you may not find necessarily in something like a Swede video, a Sweeted video. And then you can see the rubric, um, you know, you can read about, um, you know, what the grades actually mean, like how, how do you get an A um, and all that. And then this is the actual rubric that I will fill out. Um, so that's pretty much that. That's the, the critical remix artist presentation. It's a five to seven minute um, final um, presentation. But do note that, um, you know, your presentation, um, excuse me, your proposal is worth 10% of this project's grade and your group work on this project, um, your group workshop participation is also worth 10% um, of your final grade. So that's that. That's the Critical Remix Artist presentation.